Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Hamel Tier 6 German SPG. It's located on the Eastbourne of Berlin and it's under the command of Talon 1958. Uh, <laughs> that poor pilot dies again. Okay, Tier 6 game and he's in the Tier 6 RT, but you'll notice he's actually got the stock gun and there's a good reason for having the stock gun. It's much easier to get good, accurate shots on the enemy. Plus, of course, when you use the stock gun, you can actually lob shells over buildings much easier. It's got a higher trajectory. And so that makes a big difference on the amount of credits that you can earn. Now, I'm featuring this game on Berlin because a lot of you want to know all the firing positions that are available to you as RT players. I believe that is the Reichstag directly in front of us. Okay, Talon's looking for a target, and you know he's a very accurate shooter. Well, that t 3485 m is going into the bunker right in the center, and we can't get shots on him whilst he's in there, but we can lob a shell through that aperture if the enemy tank pokes out the side. And I think that t 3485 m is about to get hit by two tanks, but in the meanwhile, we've got a Rudy, the Soviet version, over on the other side of the battlefield. Direct hit, 203. Now his 15 centimeter howitzer will actually do 540 alpha. It's got a burst radius of seven meters, but as you saw the trajectory, the shells are coming down from above, and that means it's easier to hit vehicles that are hiding behind walls. And on Berlin, that's very useful. That one landed right behind the box tank. Got an SU-85 marking target. Tannen likes to let his teammates know exactly what he's going for next. He's almost loaded. 20.14 is the reload time. Rounds out. Direct hit kills the SU-85. That's his first kill. Right on the money. You notice that those shells are incredibly accurate. Now, one of the big drawbacks about having the stock gun is its short range. Yes, it doesn't fire as long as the other one. The other gun is, is a much higher velocity and it's a much longer barrel because it uh, needs the accuracy on that higher velocity. And the problem with that, of course, is that it's just not as accurate because it's, uh, it's trying too hard, you might say, to shoot over long ranges and you lose some of the accuracy so this gun is much better if you're trying to mark your Hummel. As you can see Talon's already got mark on his barrel. First mark. Okay he's selecting his target. Oh he's found the bishop! He's dialing in but before he can get a shot he's killed. Oh up here to the north we've got a Panzer 4H trying to fight it out with a box tank. And that's only going to end one way. Rounds out. Oh, I'm full. that's a ram kill, actually. So, unfortunately, Talon misses out on the kill there. But there's a T-52 next to those uh, concrete blocks. And up in the north, we found another Arty. But the problem is he's too far away to get that shot. He's lying grayed out. Ah, oh, now he can hit this one. That's the Rudy. He's hit this one before. You can see the mark on the front of the vehicle where he hit it. Well, that's dead. <laughs> Who's next? Stug 3G. Dialing in. Rams out. Lands exactly where it was aimed, but unfortunately, the Stug have moved. Yeah, that Stug's headed straight for the bunker. Can he get a shot? He's... Dialed in on that position, but he's got a red line there. Can't hit that box tank at the moment. He's got no solutions there. These are the only tanks that he's actually got in view at the moment. That M44 is out of range. You see the lines greyed out. That means it's out of range. You can't hit the target. So he's going to have to move if he wants to get a shot. Now, I, I would say, actually, and I must say, is the compliment wargaming on such a complex map. It really is very complex. They put a lot of destructible scenery in, 
and it would have taken them a long time to put all this together uh, and it is an interesting map except of course there's so many buildings that it's very difficult to get shots for Artie and of course I think they know that because that's what they did with uh, the, the Paris map as well. Well that M10 is now virtually out of health and yes it's now out of health altogether. That's his second kill. So two kills now. He's uh, second highest scorer along with uh, the Chinu and the T-34 shielded. There's a T-52 directly inside that building but he can't get, or inside the bunker, but he can't get the shell inside it. Okay, he's looking around for another target. He has got the range to hit that SU-85. If he's still in that bush, he's going to try a blind shot. Nope, he's decided not to. The other RT is marking the spot over there. He's marking it back where he thinks the guy is. Just need somebody to spot for us. There's that T-52. He came out the bunker. There's only three enemies left now. The T-52, the SU-85 and a T-34. Well, the SU-85 has been spotted down in the south. There he is. Dining in. Okay, it's ready. Rounds out straight away. Can he get the kill? Oh, no, so close. Only 3% of his hit points left. He's only got 12 hit points. And before Talon can get a shot, the VK301H claims that kill for himself. But the enemy T-52 has been located. He's way down in the south. Talon fires around him blind. No joy. Okay, he's marked the ground where he thinks it is. These open areas down the south, they seem very dangerous for Artie, but I suppose you can actually relocate into these areas if you've got a fast Artie. That T-52 is well on the move. He's been spotted. Oh, when he fired his round and looks like now he's about to get attacked by this T-52. He's been hit once and again. And again. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, uh, didn't work out. T-52 is a little terror when it needs to be a troll tank. It is a proper tank and you can take them down. It's not like those clown cars, but yeah, you do need to be aware of them. And the kill goes to our Fifi, who got a direct hit, took him out. So sadly, Talon's out of the game, but he did give us a good show as to where the enemy is. Oh, and I'm just looking, liking these new models for the VK301H. This was created by Jazz and Tane. Uh, fantastic work, Sir Rusty. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at all the baggage on the turret. 3D modeling. Perfect. And of course, you can get these uh, skins from their website. And if you look in the description to the video, you can see exactly where they're located uh, on Facebook and get the skins for your own tank. Well, he was seen by the enemy. It's a T-34-85. No, T-34, just the standard. There he is. And one shot kill. And that ends the game. So sadly, Talon didn't end the game alive, but he put up a good fight. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, he didn't get any medals or even the classification. He got a bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits in this game. He managed to get six, but he did pick up two kills and he got a win eight of 1,034. Let's have a look at team score. He didn't get the highest damage in the game. No, that actually went to the VP with 1,369 hit points. 
and uh, but he didn't get the high caliber so maybe it wasn't 20 percent of the enemy hit pawn in total the next high scorer in the game was the t52 with one two seven four the guy who killed talon and after that the excalibur one two three eight he picked up a confederate and the su 100 y got the Pescucci's. talon managed to get 682 hit points which wasn't bad um fairly good and it was an interesting game when it came to base xp uh to kills rather it was the Fifi who managed to get four kills, three kills to the box tank, uh, and two kills to the T-34 shielded, the Chinu, Talon's Hummel, the VK-301H, and, oh, I should mention that uh, T-52 on the enemy team also got four kills. Yeah, I shouldn't miss that, because one of those kills was Talon. And when it came to base XP, he managed to get 425, but he was beaten by the SU-100Y with 791, and the T-34 shielded with 749, and finally, the Fifi was 726. Talon fired nine rounds, got three direct hits, five penetra uh, uh, three direct hits, no penetrations, five splash. Damage of 682 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. He received five hits from the enemy, four were penetrations, one non-penetration, all from that T-52. And five enemy vehicles damaged, two killed, and 12 hit points of stun assist of three stuns. On a premium count, he earned 22,242 credits, got 50,000 credits for completing the mission, and total was 72,242. After repair and ammunition resupply, it took away a profit of 65,497, which is pretty high for a Hummel. He earned 60, 637 XP, uh, times two for the first victory of the day, took away 1,275 experience points altogether. Now, although he didn't get any medals, um, learning about Berlin is an important thing at the moment, and I'm just pointing out to other players that uh, this is the reason why we're featuring Talon's game, because we need to learn about the map. Yes, we could go on to a training room and wander around Berlin and have a look at all the spots and everything ourselves, but it's interesting to actually see how the games are played out. And so I will be featuring as many games of Berlin as I can, both by RT and by other tanks, just to get a feel for the place. So uh, thanks very much to Talon. Well done for the game. Uh, pity you didn't survive until the end. That would have been nice, but uh, you can't have everything in this game. So uh, if you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.